Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us in becoming one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Domestic violence, corporate terrorists, equals justice denied. It's not just guns. It's fists, knives, gangs, bullies, human traffickers, spousal abusers, drug pushers, rapists, bombers, serial killers, mass murderers, child molesters, warmongers, war profiteers, revenge seekers, bigots, statin pushers, politicians sequestering poor, young, and elderly, and those abusing their authority, whether costumed in Wall Street suits, police uniforms, or street tattoos. These are our domestic terrorists. December 2012, six adults at Sandy Hook and 20 of their elementary school students murdered. June 2015, nine African Americans gunned down while attending their Bible study in a Charleston church. Now five men who honored family, country, and uniform dead in Chattanooga at the hands of a man with a gun. But it's not just guns. It's us. Whether a vengeful Murdoch posting an 80-year-old photo of a 7-year-old future English monarch imitating newsreels of the then-rising fall of Germany, or the short-sighted, narrow-minded, bottom-line puppeteers of corporatism, or open-carry, twisted Second Amendment, it's all short eyes, inflicting the most damage when coming from those we trust to keep us safe, like teachers, police, parents, presidents. Thankfully, America's new pastime is not selfies, but smartphones recording the increasing heat wave of raging violence. Still, not all have a clear definition of bullying. At the very least, violence is aggressive intimidation. However, now, violence, like the blob, is increasingly suffocating our peace of mind. Like lava flow, it claims territorial control over the vulnerable and those least expecting to be targets. Violence entreats some to lock and load, mission focused on recapturing an illusion that has forever eluded them. Following bloodshed headlines, they are claimed by chains, diminished humanity, and self-destruction. Misguided, they are ruled by digital devices, disconnecting unemployment, compromised media, and shameless politicians unashamedly on the take. Some power-hungry, transfixed by a little power, shoot fleeing unarmed men, wrestle bikini-clad teens to the ground, and insist a 28-year-old activist on a mission to let her people go hanged herself with a plastic bag in a Texas cell. Violence lashes out from a void we fail to comprehend as it reigns us back in at Cain and Abel. Whether western drought, central tornadoes and lightning, eastern floods or congressional constipation, American life has been accosted by daily manipulation of corporate-owned TV ratings race, with Chuck Todd opining about Trump opining about McCain's heroism, in a war in which Todd, Cheney, and Trump have no experience. Then Johnny-come-lately pot of GOP candidates chime in, calling the kettle black. It's not just the guns or the media trumped-up loudmouths. It's who and what we applaud and why. It's the ideas to which we genuflect, and it's all on us. It's all in the marketing message, so it's on us to vigilantly halt all attempts to absorb us into numbing indifference. The blame game of everything's coming up ISIS or mental illness is the money changer's malleable sales pitch. United We Stand demands its time. Peace be with our uncivil wars. Cease and desist talking past each other. Start listening twice as much as we speak. Feel each other's pain. 
It's not just about flags and guns. It's the aura around which we've been conditioned to champion them. It's not just guns. It's those who insist we need guns, that we're somehow incomplete without guns. So where is the bottom? First, let's let go of not my problem and looking within acknowledge all acts of violence are motivated by fear and anger. Guns are merely the steroids. Let us educate inequitable fears out of our addiction to violent tendencies and we will cure the need for guns to prove what is at best fleeting mastery. Then if not world peace perhaps a bully-free society. Join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Thank you.